Hey there everybody, it's Clover, your friendly neighborhood vampire bunny. If you guys were wondering why I missed my last week's video, then, uh, well, let's just say I'm having some tooth issues. But despite that, I still wanted to go and get you guys a nice review of the new Planet Hollywood that just opened up in Disney Springs. I know, I know. Clover, why are you going and eating stuff when you've got tooth issues, especially things like milkshakes? Well, because I love you guys so darn much, okay? Planet Hollywood originally opened about 22 years ago, and as you can see, it was a really, really cool looking place. Inside of the restaurant, they had all kinds of things all over the walls, and most of it was memorabilia from actual movies, hence the name Planet Hollywood. The concept was highly original, and honestly, it was a great environment to go have dinner with your family in, or lunch, or whenever you wanted to eat, really. It was all just about the atmosphere. Unfortunately, it has completely changed. Um, when my roommate and I went to go get this video for you guys, I was actually quite disappointed that this was the first thing that I saw upon coming out of the parking garage. They wanted to make it look like an actual observatory, but unfortunately that means that it looks totally boring on the outside. Forgive the shaking camera here, I was actually laughing because I was shocked that this is the final product. Even walking inside, like, this stuff is pretty cool and all, but there was way less memorabilia than there originally was. Now, I took a shot of the menu here for you guys because you see those milkshakes right there, that blue one? That's the one that I ordered in order to do this review for you guys, among a couple of other things as well. First off, take note that it's a $14 milkshake. And this is what I got. Notice how it's not blue, which they did luckily warn me about ahead of time. Uh, it's missing those cute little chocolate covered pretzels. And also on the outside, it's actually slathered with buttercream frosting. You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I don't actually like buttercream frosting. So all of that basically got wasted. And right here, I mixed in all of the whipped cream after I took about three sips of it and I was kind of shocked that that's how little was actually in there to begin with considering the fact that I was just charged $14 for this thing. Also Disney's gotten a bit bad at telling you all of the ingredients that are in things which is bad when I'm traveling with someone with strict dietary restrictions. Now this was also kind of a big disappointment. This is the Cosmic Sampler and it's it's their appetizer sampler but this thing was $30. I'd never want to pay that much again for food that's this subpar. And then we move on to the movie memorabilia. As you can see, all of the walls are totally plain. There's these little bits and pieces that are in these frames, which are cool, especially when you know what movie they're from. But otherwise, they, they tried too hard to make this place classy now. I mean, they brought in Guy Fieri to try and make sure the food was good, but all he actually seemed to have touched was the burgers, and we didn't order one of those because the burgers were all a minimum of $15, and considering the fact that I had to pay $30 for just the appetizer sampler and $14 for the milkshake, I was not willing to get one of those as well. <laughs> Maybe next time. However, the one positive thing I'm definitely going to say about this place is that the staff was amazing. They were super friendly. They were really on top of it. They actually jumped into my video here because they were a lot of fun and I didn't want to tell them no because I just liked them so much. So even though the food isn't really as good anymore and the movie memorabilia is kind of minimal in comparison to how it used to be, if you guys want a good experience overall, I would recommend this place if you're going to be in this area because the staff just makes it so much fun. Also, even though there really isn't enough movie memorabilia, the ones that are actually there are pretty cool. Like, we've got Flintstones, there was The Shining in there, here's Terminator. A little bit later on, you're gonna see that I got some uh, really good close-ups of some Jurassic Park memorabilia, which is really awesome. So hopefully when they fully finish everything, it's going to be better because they actually had another floor that they didn't allow us onto. I went up to technically it was the third floor, but all in all, it was the second because you couldn't actually access the second floor. So yeah, hopefully things will get a little bit better once they've kind of found their footing in here. Also, I'm not going to lie. I think the bar actually looked pretty impressive. 
As for the music that was playing, because all of these places always have music, uh, here they actually had something kind of similar to what Hard Rock did, in which case they have these movie screens all over the place, and they're playing music videos, but they're music videos from specific movies. For example, about five seconds after we sat down to order, they started playing You're Welcome from Moana, which made me laugh pretty hard because I actually really like that song. I also asked if they would take requests because in some places they do actually have um, access to the playlist that they're using and they currently don't have access to it, but in about two weeks she said they're gonna have a DJ who will be in that black box. I don't know if you guys noticed a little bit earlier in the video and he'll be there actually controlling what gets played. So somebody can go over to him and ask for their favorite song and see if they have it on hand to play it. Now I know you guys are thinking, why are you showing so much of this movie memorabilia? I actually went around the entire restaurant and filmed everything that they currently had, so you can see that there's not actually that much at the moment. Also, yes, Jurassic Park is good. I loved the raptor head. I kind of wanted to take that home with me. It was also about now that I noticed that I could see myself in the reflection of the glass and I was trying not to get myself as much as possible, but you guys can see me anyway, so I decided to wave at you. Hi! Now this piece I thought was really cool, but unfortunately they don't have a label anywhere around it, so I don't know what movie it's from. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments because I'd like to watch this movie just so that I can say that I know where this piece is from. Um, also, I just thought it was really cool. Like, look at how intricate all the detail is in this thing. But my absolute favorite pieces of memorabilia other than the Jurassic Park heads and things is this. It's the shrimp glove from Beetlejuice. How cool is that? I was a little bit shocked that they had some of this stuff, ma mainly Beetlejuice and uh, Jurassic Park as well, because those are Universal pictures and they're here at Disney. And that was about all. Uh, I took some more video right here for you on the way out and I was going to take some in the gift shop, but then I got very distracted because everything in the gift shop is galaxy print. But uh, I guess this is about it for this video. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.